directed by Matilde Gay Madrinsky and Sycamore. Uh, uh, Rallo T. Ampo, Matt Lutton, Jason Fritz Michael, and Matilda are our stars. And uh, again, thanks. Please stand up.
过来啊！进来进来，快点快点，快点胖，现在他胖死了！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈Before she opened us, right. uh -huh. my mother, Sarah, um, after I don't know how many years the truck stop oh, for, <laughs> finally found a man to buy her MS. Oh, <laughs> it was less than a week yeah, after we landed in LA. She yeah. paraded around our dark hotel room with the trot of a show horse. She ran her hands up and down her outfit as if she were frisking herself. Now I just need the bag, she muttered under her breath. And I would pray to God at night that she would get that bag. Because maybe then she would be complete. Maybe then she would have to move in a few weeks. I could go to school. And we would have a home. A real one. Not some hotel room, the bathroom down the hall you had to hold your nose to use. <laughs> I recently saw the Lion King. <laughs> My eight-year-old son and I sat a flex of being transported to another world, an African savanna. I had to restrain myself from jumping out of my seat when Simba leaves home because he thinks he's caused the death of his father. <coughs> but he returns like I did in every single city. My mother and I tried to make it to a home. Simba can't run from who he is, from who he's meant to be, from his home. San Francisco <laughs> is the city that didn't cast me out as a city. Right. It allows me to be in both Vanity Fair Ooh, and the New York Times <laughs> and remain as anonymous as I want. <laughs> Did I tell you about plastic surgery? Oh, oh God. God. My mom exposed me to a lot of what would be considered very bad behavior. <laughs> and I reckon it is ironic, but I never felt the love of rage at her for exposing me to childhood prostitution that I did for her exposing me to the sun without protection. <laughs> <laughs> Working with Dr. Schnoll at the Annie Spa, 2326 Fillmore. That's right, 2326 Fillmore. I realized that erasing 24 years of lines from my face was more than just doing aesthetic procedures. I felt that with the lasers, we were burning away past external injuries that therapy couldn't Touch. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm your eight year old son, Thor. <laughs> I've come to bring you your raccoon penis bones. Oh. <laughs> it's a magical gift oh. and use you with supernatural powers of authenticity. <laughs> I'm vegan. <laughs> Stimulating the potential for articulation. 
I stand like a newly mobile toddler in my jet black, high gloss, costume national, sling back stiletto pumps <laughs> with their silk cords wrapped tight around my ankle, like the tape around a boxer's fist. The more press I get, the more free food I get. And John Waters told me, if I talked about things that I fantasized about in interviews, that fans would bring them to me. And the concept seems surreal, but at readings they often comment that I'm chewing on something soft and gooey. <laughs> My fingers. And the requests poured in. Magazines wanted me to do restaurant reviews and interview chefs. <coughs> I even got asked to blurb for local cookbook, Millennium. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a weird scene in San Francisco back when we were squatting. Oh, squatting! squatting. <laughs> in numerous abandoned buildings. In the mission! In the mid 90s. I was hanging out with these skinheads, oh. and there was like 12 or 13 of us. Ooh, ooh. Some were gay, and some weren't. Oh, so <laughs> it was this really homoerotic thing that was going on. And you see, they would go out with me and use me as their bait. Right. Because I was so, um, Irresistible. <laughs> you know how gay men have always loved little girls. <laughs> so they would stop and talk to me. And then BAM! BAM! We hit them over the head with baseball bats, and that's how we got our laughs. <laughs> Looking back on those days, I realized it was kind of cruel. <laughs> I guess. <laughs>
on the website. On JT Leroy's website. And that was because the last time when we performed the show, I got a phone call in the morning before the show. I hadn't eaten anything. And and I was like, and they're like, hi, is this Matilda? I was like, yeah, this is Matilda. And they're like, oh, it's JT. I was like, oh, hi, JT, blah, blah, blah. And then they talked to me for like an hour and a half. <laughs> And the thing that was hard for me to figure out was I was like, is this the real person pretending to be JT Leroy, or is another person pretending to be the real person pretending to be JT Leroy? So I never figured it out, but now I know it's the real person. We'll just believe that it's the real person.